Ah, Herr Delta. You arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. Give me my goddamn dollar back! Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. Diane insisted that we spend a weekend at the Adonis, and already I find myself seeking a respite from my vacation. She deems it necessary to chide me for working. The words dissolve into an endless animal bleat. I found it rapture to be free of law and God, to live among those for whom work is our wage. Yet, when Diane speaks of bearing my child, I am given pause. Until now, I had never considered my legacy. Perhaps, perhaps after the new year. We know This is Dr. Sophia Lamb. Andrew Ryan is dead, but the tyrant dwells within us all. Remember, we reject the gene. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Do they miss the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or the Cheka police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, Paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. 
It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lamb. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. Security cameras belong to Lam, but if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. I got business acumen. Killer instincts. I'm a winner. It's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. Without me, 
flagship coach. But these days, personal bathyspheres are all the rage. My rails only connect the oldest parts of Rapture now. And the city's just... just left me behind. <laughs> Plenty of cash in the bank, though. This private vehicle craze will blow over soon. faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply chosen not to notice. Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me in Christ, his face. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. He... I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, 
fits of panic, sexual pathos, all responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. Elevator. Is what the children tell me. You are a very old big daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb. 
daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. Dr. Siu Chong's death was a nasty blow to the Protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight, like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more, something stronger, an unbreakable physiological bond. Turn to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins, and the rapture nightmare will repeat forever. Now, we must talk. Citizens, Citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is, is Subject, Subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that, that mask hides, hides an enemy, enemy of, the of the people, people. Without, without soul, soul or, sympathy. or sympathy. It is a it beast, beast apart, apart. and as, as family. family we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lem will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape.
Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. And good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lem. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. <laughs>